سنگ توده دو The capitals of Iran and Tajikistan are 1000 kilometers apart but when their presidents meet they don't need interpreters They lead the world's two majority Persian speaking nations linked by the Dari speakers of Afghanistan When the Soviet Union collapsed Iran was the first nation to recognize independent Tajikistan and Iran's flag served as a model for Tajikistan's flag Muhyiddin Kabiri is head of Tajikistan's Islamic Renewal Party. It's a unified people. It just happened that we live in this territory called Tajikistan and Iranians live in another state. If you don't take into account our different religious views, Iranians are Shiites and Tajiks are Sunnis, we have a common history, common literature, common religion, and common language. Iran's president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, a frequent visitor to Tajikistan, calls it one spirit in two bodies. The Iranian president came here in September to inaugurate one hydroelectric plant and to sign an agreement for a second one. Iran is to operate both plants until it has won back its investments through electricity sales. Saifullah Safarov is deputy director of Tajikistan's Center for Strategic Studies, a government-affiliated think tank. Our economic interests, plus energy development, trade development, and cultural development, are in line with one another. China and Iran are now the largest foreign investors in Tajikistan. China and Iran now plan to build a connecting rail line through Tajikistan. But few believe that Russia, the dominant power here for more than a century, will fade away. Kabiri's Islamic Party now works closely with Tajik workers in Russia. Iran will never replace Russia. Likewise, Russia will not replace Iran. Each has its own role and its own place. We have more than a million of our citizens in Russia. But in the long term, Russia's century-long rule here may be gradually eclipsed by Tajikistan's 2,500 years of common history with the Persian Empire. Zafar Abdullayev, a pro-democracy blogger here, believes that a visa-free common market is possible for Iran and Tajikistan. <laughs> When the Iranian government or society becomes more democratic and tolerant toward the rest of the world, the process will continue further, and there will be the possibility of even closer ties. After the collapse of Soviet power over Central Asia, Abdullayev says it is now Iran's turn to liberalize, if the two Persian-speaking cousins are to have a truly relaxed relationship. James Brook, VOA News, Dushanbe, Tajikistan.